to accept that you can't do something just because you're a girl is absolutely not on. Definitely not. Oh, I'm here. South Pole. Yay. I'm infamous for not stopping training. The typical week is pretty much consisting of three very early sessions on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, which is a high intensity, vomit inducing <laughs> cardio workout. I can live for weeks on end in pretty uncomfortable conditions, very uncomfortable conditions. I mean, the, the toilets are interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, you are living in a tent, you are living in close proximity with, generally, certainly for the harder trips, it's, it's all blokes. Even if it's getting tough and you haven't had a shower for three weeks and someone in the team is annoying you or, or whatever, uh, you just have to go walk outside the tent and go, wow, it's Monday morning, everyone else is in the office and I'm here. This is kind of beautiful. Well, it's beautiful and it's awesome. I do believe you need to fail to learn. If you continually succeed, you're not necessarily going to learn anything from that. I guess in, in what I do, I don't really use the word failure because failure is not coming home or not coming home with all my bits and pieces. And how are we going to have the next generation of explorers and scientists that are going to give stuff a go? Discover the cure for cancer or whatever if they're scared of failing. I'm five foot nothing and I live in Adelaide so if I can do this stuff there's really not genuinely holding back most women from doing it. Uh, physically, mentally, there's no reason why women can't climb mountains, go rock climbing, do almost all of what I've done. It's up to women to decide they want to do it. <laughs> <laughs>